Hello viewer and thank you for coming. I appreciate you being here in this new video tutorial. So over here on this Windows desktop I have folder music and inside five different music files. And today I will show you how you can set the same percepted volume of all the mp3 files at once. As far as I know, with the program that I will use today, which is FUBAR2000, you can set the volumes only for mp3 files. I tested on WAV and on AAC, it did not work. So here are three the same music files. This one is a regular, normal uh, volume that it came with. That one is quieter and that one is quieter and has few times a uh, very loud, very, very short parts of the music, just for presentation purposes. So without further ado, let's just start the video, shall we? So over here I have uh, Beer Creek, Quieter, plus these bursts of high volume sounds opened. And as you see, it is a little bit strange looking. <laughs> it ha the sound is basically these sinus-ish waves that goes along the whole music. As the music volume, we defined the average volume of the music, which is the difference between the quietest part and loudest parts. But there are two sound volumes that we need to talk about. One is actual volume and second one is percepted volume. Percepted volume is what our human ears can hear, which is a little bit different. It's not exactly the same. I will not be talking about this in this video, so you can go in the description and click on the link if you want to know more about the volumes itself. <laughs> so also there are peak volumes. Peak volume is the loudest part of the sound, of the music, which in this case is this one over here, at the right at this top, right here. Before I show you how to download it, install it, etc, 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 make sure that all of your music that you will set the same volume, it is backed up. So you are precautioned that if something wrong happens or whatsoever, you have backed up files. To do this, it is very easy. Just copy the folder and paste the folder. Somewhere empty, right mouse button, click, click, paste, and that's it whole folder is copied. But I already have the copy folder before I started recording this tutorial, so I do not need it. That you need to do because... Okay, if you want to do. <laughs> because when you import the music's files, music files inside the FUBAR 2000, it will set the volume for these original files. It will not make a copies of them. So, beware of that. And now, let's go download the program to install it. I will just open up Mozilla Firefox web browser, you can open whatever web browser you want. And open up google.com search engine. You can use whatever you want. And over here you can just type in FUBAR2000, press enter key on the keyboard. And here is the website, fubar2000.org. To the same web page, you can get by clicking in URL area somewhere, just one mouse button click, and then when it all is selected, just type in fubar2000.org and press enter key and you get to the same website. To download the application, you need to go to download tab, click on it, and under the latest table version, click download link. Current version of the FUBAR 2000, the time of this recording, it is 1.6.11. Click on it, and the program is downloaded over here, as you see. I will just click this folder icon, button, so I can open up the position of this file in File Explorer. And to install the program, it is very easy, just 
one click or double click depending on your uh, settings in Windows, just open the file. In this window, click next. Read the license agreement if you want. When you're done, click I agree. You can set a portable installation or standard installation. Portable is that you can just grab it and put it on your USB stick and connect it to another computer and such. But if you want to install it directly to your computer, like I will, I will just select standard installation. Click next. If this window pops up, just click yes, that you agree opening this file. Over here, you need just to select where you want to be installed. I will leave it as default as it is, default folder, program files x86 fubar 2000. If you want to change it anyway, just click browse. Go inside the folder that you want to install it. Program files, um, regular, however you want. And just click select folder. And the subfolder with FUBAR2000 will automatically be created once you start installing the program. And when you are done, you can click next. Here you can select the select specific elements if you do not want some stuff to be installed however you want by checking or unchecking the boxes. When you are done, click install. This will take a little bit of time and as you see the icon on the desktop is shown. And here is the window. Run forward because it is already completed. <laughs> installation. <laughs> okay, installation is completed. So if you want to run it, just keep it checked. If not, uncheck it and click finish. And when you first run this program, if you never run it on your computer, you will see this quick appearance setup. Over here you can select uh, the layout of all the elements, the colors, black, blue, I will go with white, yellow, uh, too bright, yellow. You can also go with default playlist and so on. There is a lot of stuff. Today I'm not go deeply. Just select what you want and you, when you are done, just click OK. Next is to import the musics. You can just open up a file explorer where the musics are the folder just select them all by clicking the left mouse button some empty and just drag it and then just click on the selected musics and just drop it inside the program under the album art the default playlist <laughs> and here it is all the musics if you want to know more about how to select files and elements and such inside the Windows operating system, you can go and watch my other video tutorial, which is inside the description below this video. So before I show you how you can set the same volume for all the files, I will show you how to analyze them to see what is the difference between the uh, volumes. <laughs> To do this, select all the music, click left mouse button somewhere empty and just drag it or Ctrl A on the keyboard however you want. It is same as if you are selecting files. Right mouse button click on the selected, go to replay gain and scan per track gain. And all the music files are scanned. As you see here, track gain there is a very big difference between plus 22.21 and minus 10.90. Difference is enormous. It is 13.11 decibels difference. That is a lot. So here you can set few tags of the file, but I won't do it today. When you are done, just click cancel. And now we are going to actually set the same volume of the songs. Just right mouse button click on the selected musics that you want to set the same volume to. <laughs> Go to replay again. 
and click on apply gain to file content and here it is you have in this window first apply track gain that is uh, the volume that you want to select it by default it is at 89 decibels you can of course select different volumes if you want to, uh, to have it louder just slide it to louder but remember the most usual volume is 89 decibels if you go too high um, the sound can be a little bit crankier not so good if the parts of the music are too loud for your player to play Usually, whatever is uh, above 100 decibels, uh, music players like in car and such can cut off the loudest parts and the sound is not as smooth as it should be. So I prefer that you leave it at S89, maybe go up to 92, 93, 94, however you want, but just leave it at default. You can select the uh, specify gain volume, but no, we want just percepted volume to be as we want, 89 decibels. So here are make the files louder or quieter. And other option is make files louder only. Do not change if too loud. So this one makes the song if it is percepted volume above 89 it will lower it to 89 decibels if it is lower it will louder it up it will bring the up uh, to the volume but if you select make uh, files louder only so only the files that are lower than 89 decibels only those files will be make louder so in our case i want to louder and quieter lower adjustment to prevent clipping according to peak information so when this is selected and that is for this first music you know pick very loud parts of the music <laughs> if this is selected then these 89 decibels will probably go lower why you know those few spikes of very loud parts if the loudest part is above 100 decibels the volume will go down but in our case i will just uncheck it and let it 89 decibels use multiple threads enable for fast processing only if your files are on solid state drive that function i don't actually know what does that mean but I will just leave it unchecked, I am also on hard drive in this virtual machine. So when you are done selecting all the things, basically as default as this window comes, it is the best solution, just click start. And that's it, the musics are set. If I right mouse button click on them, go to replay again and scan patch again, like I did at the beginning, you see it is plus 0.30 you know the difference is still there 0 0.30 0 0.70 minus uh, 30, 0.36 decibels but the, that is the minimum it always will be a little bit of difference but that is very minimal and that's it i hope that you like the video if you have any questions, did not understood something, to just went to say hi whatsoever, just type everything below in the comment section. And also you can subscribe, click bell icon to get notified about new videos, and share with others so others can learn also. And until next time, have a blast people, bye bye!